Hey what's up guys, I am Sam. Now previously I've taught you how to run like the flash. But this time we're gonna add some lightning baby. Alright so let's see the preview of the effect that we will be achieving by the end of this tutorial. Alright so I already have a tutorial on my channel named how to run very fast. But this time I'm gonna teach you how to run fast with the lightning. So what I'm going to do for the sake of this tutorial is I'm just going to skip this running part which I have already covered in this tutorial and I'm just going to focus on the lightning part. So let's jump right into it. So I'm just going to duplicate this flash layer and delete all the extra stuff and just keep our raw footage in here. So what we're going to do is make a new solid, a black solid and name it lightning. And go to effect generate advanced lightning now we need to make some adjustments to this effect so first of all we're gonna set the lightning type to two-way strike and open the expert settings and set the fractal type to spline so this will make things less complicated now what we'll do is check decay main core so that we have a bit less complex lightning which also looks good and we're gonna change the color also so we can change the glow color to maybe something like red yes and maybe increase the core radius a bit maybe like 3 and decrease a bit forking all right This looks great. So for now we'll set the decay to a lesser value like that. Now we want to find the point where we entered the scene. So in this case you can see me entering on this frame. You can just see you can see some of the yellows over here. So what we're gonna do is animate the origin and direction of the lightning. So we'll just move it out of the frame for now and we'll animate in with ourselves so we can place this hair hit page down to move one frame forward and we can increase or move the position of the lightning all right that looks okay Alright, so what we'll do here is hit U and we can see these keyframes and we can go to the middle of this effect and hit the stopwatch for decay and we can move more forward and like increase the value to maybe like 1 or 1 1.10 or so. Alright, so now what we can do is trim this layer according to a need. So we can just select the layer, Alt Begin Bracket, go to the end, and Alt End Bracket. And now what we can do is start duplicating this lightning layer and start placing it to different parts of our body. So I'm just gonna animate this again, and this takes a little bit time. So I'm just gonna make it faster for you alright so I've added these lightnings to different parts of my body and let's see what we have here alright not bad now what we're gonna do is take all these lightning layers hit control shift C and pre-compose them and maybe rename it light and what we'll do is add a bit glow so we can go to effect stylize glow and maybe we can just play with these values again and yes and what we can do is add a bit of motion blur to this lightning so we can go and type CC force motion blur and drop it onto this comp 
and let's change the motion blur samples from 8 to 12 and the shutter angle to 90. So that gives it a bit of motion blur. And if you guys know me, I like to make a preset for color correction that I use for most of my projects. So you can just go and make a new adjustment layer. And there's a color correction preset that I made which you can download from the description. And you can just add it to the user presets folder so that it's accessible over here. So you can just go to animation presets, user presets and drop it onto the adjustment layer and BAM! Color correction. Now I might want to duplicate the adjustment layer, delete the sharpen and maybe darken it a bit and let's see what we have here maybe we can decrease the glow intensity well, let's not have the glow let's see what happens Yep that, yep, that looks cool. Now what else you can do is take this composition and nest it into another composition and add some camera shake when we enter the frame. So what we can do is hit B and go to effect, expression controls, slider control and then what we'll do is alt click on the stopwatch for position and then we'll type an expression and that is wiggle open parentheses and then take the pick whip and select this value hit comma and maybe 30 and close the parentheses and so what we'll do is move backwards and we can just hit a keyframe for the slider and move ahead when we enter the frame set this to maybe 5 or so and move ahead and set this to 0 so let's see how this looks ah oh, that's too much maybe set it to 2 or 3 maybe yep that looks good so what problem we are facing right now is this black edge kind of thing so what we can do is hit S and scale the comp to fit the comp and that looks good and to make the shake look more real we can enable the motion blur for this layer and the comp as well. So let's see what we finally have here. Alright that's it, I hope you all learned something new from this tutorial. I know it's not perfect but it's all about experimentation and kind of playing with these values to get the effect that you want. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Bam.